Hi folks, it's Mrs. Dooms here. I'm sorry I'm at a meeting today, but I wanted to present you with today's lesson. So what you're going to do today is, uh, first of all, is uh, you're going to make test corrections. And what you'll do is you'll work with your classmates as a resource. There are many students who can answer the level two and level three problems. Those are the questions that you'll be asked to make corrections on. So you're not just going to write the answer, you're going to write the process as well. So we're writing down the correct answer along with the process in terms of how to arrive at that answer. And then when you're finished with making your corrections, you're going to take a photo of both sides of the test, and that's for you to keep, and then you're going to return the test to the sub. All right? The next thing you're going to do is for those students who need to reassess, and those students are less than level three, any student that is above a level three, you will be working on the brain buster that will be due on Friday. But everyone else, the students that are at uh, uh, less than a level three, you're going to go through your test and you're going to determine the type of problems that you're going to need to work on. Are they drawing a picture to find the sum? Is it comparing the absolute value? Or did you have trouble with adding integers when the signs were the same? Did you have trouble with adding integers when the signs are different? Or did you have some difficulty in creating some real world examples? You need to determine those types of problems that you're going to be working on. Now here's what you can do. So you can go in to the resources and you can find practice problems for some, but you won't be able to find practice problems for all. You're going to need to be resourceful on some of these and you'll have to create your own. For example, let me just go back to the previous slide here. I would be able to give you some resources for uh, comparing the absolute value. I can give you resources for adding integers when the signs are the same or when the signs are different. But in terms of like creating, drawing a picture to find the sum, uh, to find the sum or creating real world examples, you are going to be responsible for trying to provide those resources on your own by making them up. So. But where do you go for the others? Well, I'm going to show you there's a little hidden known secret in Canvas that uh, I'm going to be taking you to. And it is, let me just move this around. I guess I can. Here you go. You might not be familiar with this, but there's a page called Resources. And in this Resources page in Canvas, you can monitor your learning. And with integers, I put the adding integer notes that we had from a couple of days ago, I put that in this section here. I also put in the integer learning targets, and if you pull up that resource, if you click on that, it's going to take you to a document, and you can find out all the different resources that are available there. So if I scroll up to the top, you can see the integer learning targets, and scrolling down and at the very bottom there is something called integer worksheets and you can click on that and that's going to take you to a website and on this website you're going to click on integer topics well we've been working on integer addition so you will click on that and then you can go ahead and decide for yourself what types of problems that you're going to be working on so say for example I'm going to choose this section here adding integers negative 15 to uh, positive 15 and I'll choose the level C kinds of problems and what it's going to do is it's going to create a worksheet and let me just move this over here so that you can see the worksheet and I click on the worksheet and voila I've got a bunch of problems that I can solve so I can pick and choose if I'm having trouble with adding integers when the signs are the same, I can choose those problems. If I'm having trouble with adding integers when the signs are different, I can choose those problems. And guess what, boys and girls, look at this. If you scroll to the bottom, if you scroll to the next page, holy moly, there's the answer key. Holy moly, look at that. So you can use that. If I go back to the resources in Canvas, and let me just move this over here, there is an absolute value practice worksheet that you can use as well that I've created. So you can open this up, 
and this is all yours and I've created an example here where I have five and I'm wondering is it less than or greater than or equal to the absolute value of negative five. So what I'll do is I will create a number line and I will place the numbers on the number line. Above the number line I'm, a, I'm placing the distance so that if you notice that remember that the distance is always positive. So from negative five to zero is five and from zero to five is five. So since the distances are the same, my answer is going to be equal. You're going to be asked to do this for these two problems and then you'll need to create five new problems on your own to solve. And this is only for students that need the practice with the absolute value. So you're going to need to determine what kinds of problems that you need work on. Again, if you need work on drawing a picture to find the sum, that might be something that you'll need to do. Create uh, comparing absolute value, adding integers with the same signs when the signs are different, creating real world examples. Again, I want to point out that use your classmates as a resource. Take care, folks, and I will see you on Friday.